social science. Today, let's talk something about our surroundings, our environment. Right? If you observe environment very closely, what do you observe? Obviously, we observe that without environment, human life is not possible. We are much more dependent on the environment for our survival. But now if I ask you that what is the current situation of an environment? Do it is performing well? The answer in your minds will come to know. No. Why it is so? For the reason we know well. In spite of knowing that environment, surrounding is very much important resource for the human life to exist. Still as a human we are not taking enough care of the environment we should take. As a result, what is happening? Continuously changes in the environment is taking place. If I talk about India, we know well that since ages India is following the seasonal cycle during the whole year. Summer, winter, monsoon. All the three seasonal cycles nowadays has been disturbed due to human interference in the environment. So today, let's start with one of the chapter relating to the environment that is environmental changes chapter 7 standard 8. Before going to understanding of the basics of the chapter, we need to learn about certain important topics. Right? To understand the chapter more deep. First such question is what is a weather? Usually we think that weather and climate both are same. But no, it is different. So let's understand what is a weather first. Then we will move towards climate. The condition of temperature, rain and moisture. These three words are important. Temperature, rain, moisture. The condition of temperature, rain, moisture in any region at a particular point of time is known as weather. Each and every country would be experiencing the change in their weather. The change in the weather is temporary. For particular 2-3 months, 5 months, depending on the situation or where the particular country is located. Weather keeps on changing. For example, India is having the weather changes in the terms of summer, winter, monsoon. According to it, the weather changes. So, weather is the current situation of the weather of any region which is decided on the parameters temperature, rain and moisture which keeps on changing. Right? Let's move towards climate. What is a climate? The average condition of again rain, temperature, moisture of any region over more than 35 years is known as climate. So the climate of any place remains stagnant, steady since last 35 years. Again we can take the example of India. If I talk about broadly that what 
is the climate of India, then India's climate would be a hot country. Why so? For the reason that out of 12 months, majority 7 to 8 months, we experience hot sun in the major parts of India. So overall climate of India is hot. But the weather in India keeps on changing. No matter India is a hot country, but we also experience winter season when we need to wear sweaters. Right? So that temporary change is weather permanently climate of any place since over 35 years is a climate. Right? Next such topic or the question to be understand is what is global warming? You might have heard this word thousands of times in our prior lectures or in the school too. Right? You all know what is the global warming. Just revising the concept again. It refers to an unequal and continual. Unequal means which is not equal everywhere. And continuous. Rise in the average temperature of the earth's climate. Due to greenhouse gases. Right? Earth is continuously getting hotter and hotter. This is only because of the effect of greenhouse gases. Now what do you mean by greenhouse gases? Greenhouse gases are the gases which are harmful to the environment. For example, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, CFC, methane, etc. In the environment, we have already studied in the chapter 2 in atmosphere that in the environment, in the atmosphere, we have the prescribed criteria of each and every gases. Whenever disturbance occurs in this gases, global warming takes place. These harmful gases are increasing in the environment. What are the reasons? Due to over usage of vehicles, Advanced use of science and technology, industrialization, urbanization, luxurious lifestyle, etc. Right? So these all are such parameters which is leading us to the global warming. What happens in the global warming? The earth become warmer which is in return very much harmful for the humans. It occurs when certain gases in the atmosphere entrap the infrared radiation. As the poisonous gases are increasing in the environment, it entrap the infrared radiation which are UV rays, which comes from the hot sun and which leads us to the effect of making the climate warmer. Right? So global warming is the average rise in the temperature of the earth. Now let's try to understand one another term which is included in this chapter. It is about the greenhouse farming. Mind very well greenhouse gases and greenhouse farming are different. Right? Let's move towards greenhouse farming. Countries with cold climate receives less heat from the sun. This hampers the growth and development of plants and vegetation. Hence, the arrangement is made to accumulate adequate heat from the sun. 
the roof of it is either made of a glass or a cloth even in the today's era of technology it can be made of solar panels right to penetrate the sun rays inside it and to sustain the heat inside that greenhouse and this practice is known as greenhouse farming this would be helping the plants or the crops to grow in the cold climate right let us perform a small activity now observe the picture collage given on the screen and you are just supposed to write one sentence about each picture given in your notebook aap har 